This your boy Wayne T. My Andrew, my man right here, Arthur Robbie Miller. Okay, Rob, what's going on? What the hell with you? Just been chilling, Wayne. Just been chilling, okay. man. What's been on your mind? What you been doing after that? I've been writing, working on this magazine called Uncut and Untold Stories. You know what I'm saying? It's a 12 page magazine. The world should know. You know what I'm saying? Things like the ungrading the youth and things and stuff like that. Okay, well, that's, uh, I want to know. It, it, it's kind of about, uh, how did how did you come up with this idea? Inspired me to write these books, man. Okay. First, it started like when I was in uh, in the federal prison. You know, so I rang rap, the rap game, and things like that. And this dude came up to me on the radio named Jimmy the Saint. He's from Philly. He wrote the first book um, called Free, uh, the Blur, the first Black Scarface. Yeah, uh, Free Ray, Free Ray Ricky Ross. Free Ray Ricky Ross. Okay, okay, so that's right, man. That eliminates your mind to do the things that. Rappers give up. I mean, you was in the rap game, man. You came to my rap game as an artist, man. You, you did a couple of albums. You did videos. What inspired you just to go? I mean, I heard you say book. Uh, what the books about? I mean, what was the books really about? I read them. They're great books, man. You, you, you touched me with the books. Man, this, that's a good thing you did because, like I said, rappers give up. You haven't gave up the game, man. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to amaze you. Yeah, I always wanted to be a rapper, but I never thought I was going to be a book author. You know, they say it was already born in you. You know, you never know what God has in store for you. But as a writer, I feel like most rappers, they want to be rappers, but they ain't rapping. They want to be gangster rappers. They want to do this, but I don't fault every man for doing what he got to do in life. But it was so many rappers out here. And they weren't really signing nobody and things like that. So I said, man, I got to go another route. So I went another route. So when I met Jimmy the Saint, he was just like, man, tell me, man, you write a book, man. You write so many rap songs and things like that. You all write a book about your life story. And then that's when a question mark came to my head and like, okay, I'm going to try this. And then the thing just fell in play. Okay, yeah, you inspired me, man. I was like a writer too. And I was like, you know, I did music too, man. I did all that stuff, but writing a book, man, it's amazing. I don't wrote films, you know. It did the same thing. You encouraged, you encouraged me. You didn't get back and write it, bro. I mean, this, this, this is like the highest form of level of uh, thoughts and uh, imagination, man. You got imagination, you got thoughts, you got wisdom. It, it like illuminates your mind to do this, man. It's incredible, man. Yeah, you know, I, I'm going to touch a lot of youth and a lot of people in this world today, you know what I'm saying? Once they read the book, they're going to be hooked, they're going to be satisfied, they touch your soul, you know what I'm saying? Things that people don't been through in life, you know what I'm saying? Trouble, trial, tribulations, and things like that, they go on, but I'm really, I ain't giving you 100%, I'm giving you 150% of my life story. I'm going to keep it real, I'm going to keep it raw and uncut, this is all I know is me. I'm going to give you the real Robbie Miller, Robbie Dude, Cisco, artist name, Dirty Dan. And, for, and I'm going to give you everything of my life. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to give it to you real and raw. I'm not going to send no child out there to say, go raw this person. No, I'm going to bring that child to me and sit him down and talk to him. Oh, he go $5 or a dollar or something. Go get you something. Here. Go around and get you a blow pop or something. And you know what I'm saying? Treat him, give him some positive thoughts. Not no negative thoughts. Because when you give a child negative thoughts, that's what he's going to become. A negative. Okay. Damn positive. That's just like, uh, you know, like me. My experience of life was the same way, bro. I came up out the streets like I fought a lot of you know, Miami, you know what I'm saying? I've been around, I'm traveling, I've been a penitentiary too. I know how I feel to be, you know, getting in writing, but you know, you, you described me right. Like I said, I read your books, man. It's uplifting, man. It reminded me of me when I was going through things too. I went through the street games, through the street roads too, and I'm here too to be a positive message. See, I started doing, I want to be heard. Doing that man, trying to look up the line up. I like the magazine thing. That's a great, that's a great idea. I'm with that. Now we gotta take it to another form, like movies. Like we got no bunch of people getting writing scripts now. They don't know how to come out with them. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna try to do a movie with this book, right? Yeah, okay. that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a movie, man. You know what I'm saying? I want people to purchase my book and feel where I come from. And I'm gonna get shots out to my homeland, everywhere I came from, my, my stepping stones. I get shot out to um Alpugas, Georgia. Bamis, Georgia, Cairo, Thomasville, Tallahassee, Albany, Georgia, um, um, Atlanta, Rosdale, Riverdale, Stockbridge, Orlando, Lithonia, Stone Mountain, McDonald, and 
you know what I'm saying, everybody else that's supporting me and things like that. Yeah, that's right. This this thing has got to be moving. And for a lot of that, I know been stagnated with them. You know, we ain't got the film production here. We got the book production here. Everybody in their back room, out of their garage, trying to write certain things. They, they're scared to come out. And that's what we hear. This, you are the stepping stone for the book writers, the authors right here. We're trying to, like, way to go. How can I do this? But I see, man, you have done everything possible book. You wrote the book. You designed the book. You even published the book. Man, you did more things than a company could do. Well, I would say a company do that. Sometimes you had to go here, go here, they ask you to do it. You did it yourself. That was fine. You was like a one man team. And whoa, it's no get high enough. You promote yourself, man. You're beyond the scope, brother. I mean, you inspired me. Like I say, I did, I've done that. I did club, been in record of been, but the book, the movie, I have not seen it. You know, it went further than I did with the book game. And like I said, I wrote scripts and movie, but I never sat down like you did. And the patient, see, it's like you said, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm not to cut you off with things like that. You know, people always talk about they're going to help you do this and help you do that. No, I had to believe in myself, within myself. Oh, Cisco, uh, Ravi, uh, Dirty Dank, we're going to help you do this, do that. They ain't for all about the money and the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? This is my life. This is all I knew. So I had to do my researches myself. Oh, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that. No, I'm going to go in it myself and do it. I'm going to put my own money on myself because I am money. You know what I'm saying? I've been there and done that. So I don't need nobody to do nothing for me but God and somebody that's going to really put their trust in me. You know what I'm saying? To get me where I'm at. I'm trying to do movies. I'm trying to make movies. That's what I'm trying to do and let the world know who Robin Miller is. You know what I'm saying? And things like that. And I give a shout out to Michigan City in there. My grandma Daisy Deuce, my father Robert Lee Deuce, my cousin Jarrell, all the LaRon, No Little Jack, all the Monty Betty Deuce, all the May Deuce, May Kept the Deuce, Yvonne Deuce, Timmy Deuce. I love all y'all, man. You know, so I came a long way. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. See, this is what I'm talking about. When we get in a positive an environment where you can be where you, where you want to be, this is what happened. You can change your life. This transformation this guy did, man, it's incredible. I knew he was young and he ripped the streets, like I said, he was in the streets like I was, man, we came home and we knew what we had to do. God been on with us, he done changed, like he's a Christian, he done changed his life, devoted his life to help the youth. That's what's up, man. We gotta come back and give back. Nobody does it like better than the street guy does. Remember where we come from, we remember that past, we come back, we want to see a better issue with be fathers to our kids. A loving husband for our wife. This is what we gotta do now. Bring it back. What you're doing now, you showing how to be our own entrepreneur. That's what that's what it's all about. Learning to do the trademark ourselves. And I get in this little town I always see where I'm really from, it's a little town called Out of Puggers, Georgia. It's 400 population. See, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna straight gutter. Straight gutter. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you how it is. Some people ain't going to tell where they really from. They oh, I'm from Fort Lauderdale. I'm from Miami. Be real with the situation. I'm from a little town, 400 population called Alapurga, Georgia. Right outside of all being in Bramish, Georgia, in Tallahassee, all 27. You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I must say, I gave them people hell, man. Them people wish I was dead in that little town. But guess what? I'm still living. And I can say today, whatever I did to them people, man, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a heart. You know what I'm saying? I did the dirty on little people in that town called Alpoca, Georgia, man. But I'm giving back love and support. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I done to all the people, man, I can say I'm still living. And I'm sorry. And it's a God of love, man. Because I became a better person. And I just want the youth out there to read these books. Once they read it, they're going to see where I'm coming from. And things like that. And most of all, I give God the thanks to God. My grandma, Bessie Miller, she passed away. My mama passed away. My sister passed away. And that really did something to me. It gave me an inspiration, man. I ain't trying to look back. I'm trying to look forward. You know what I'm saying? The things like that. I'm giving a positive word to these kids and stuff. I see all this flock out here, all these drugs, man. Hey, y'all got to listen and learn. If y'all don't learn, the crackers got something for you. Yeah. Like I said, been down that road, that troubling road, trials and tribulation, but we have to see for ourselves. Sometimes you have to go down the mountain where you need to be. Sometimes God takes a break in your life. I call it the intercession of your life. He will take you out and take you in so you see the thing that you have to do. The way you go, the day where you're from is where you're at. So I don't play no tribulation. Like I said, like this guy came from entrepreneur, came from the street, artist of rap, 
our uh, book writer, magazine writer. This is inspiring. Anybody who might need books, get these books right here. Let's see that books. Y'all can go to y'all can go to www.lulu.com backslash spotlight backslash Robbie Miller. Get at your boy. Stay tuned. Cause God is good. Like he said, they're in the stores now. And he got me like to go to And his contact number is what? My email is um Arthur Robbie Miller at Arthur Robbie Miller 73 at gmail.com. That's how you reach him. Like I said, they book here, you sign in him, you go send him locally, you'll see him around now, I can change the name. He'll be the one to put you put the game back in the game, the book game. And this is what's happening right here. We try to make a film, a movie, hopefully you get that far. We're gonna do it because it's in our heart, we're gonna make it happen. That's what we do to make things happen. This is boy you tough entertainment money tree record with Arthur Robert Miller. Yeah, Arthur Robert Miller.